everyone, Peggy here. Thanks for tuning in to this week's video. Before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, be sure to hit the bell notification so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Holy moly! All right, let's see what's inside this spruce burl. I am excited for this one. Here I am with the moisture meter. It ranged from about 7% to 10% moisture content, which is fine for turning. Before I start turning, I'm gonna take all of the bark off so I don't get covered in it. Thankfully, a lot of it comes off in larger chunks. This shot it makes me, it looks like a clam. <laughs> if you've ever seen a clam before it's cooked. I'm from Maine, so I have. Marking out a 12 inch circle. And then I took it to the bandsaw to cut it as close to round as I could. And I also cut off a piece on the bottom to make a flat piece, so to make it a little faster for turning. You can see it there. That is why you always spin it before you turn it on. Public safety announcement. Starting with the bowl gouge, very, very slow. Turning a lot of air, as you can see. I went between pretty much all my sizes of bowl gouges to see which one, which one would work the best at this point, but it was just a slow process. None of them worked great at the beginning because as I said, this looks like a clam <laughs> and is shaped like one too. But in the end, I went back to the, the side to just make it completely round instead of starting on the bottom. Getting a little faster here. As you can see, I turned it a little too fast and it kind of bounced around a little bit. The lathe, that is. That is never very good. So I turn it back down and it's not bouncing at this point, but the piece is still very, very unbalanced and uneven. And before anyone says so, I know I should have had the tail stop pulled up because I started on the bottom or intended to anyway. I didn't have it pulled up and I honestly just forgot to, to pull it up after I started on the side. But it is always safest to have the tail stock pulled up, touching the piece um, as, as long as you can while you're turning. As you can see there, some very, very rough cuts. But it's coming into uh, more of a bowl shape at this point. I was able to get the speed up around 500 RPM. At this point, I hadn't decided if I was going to use a mortise or a tenon. I know it looks like I'm gonna use a tenon, and I actually, I do end up using a tenon, but I was still wasn't sure at this point because it was still very, very rough cuts and I knew I needed to take off a bunch more material. It's 
So flattening the bottom and then taking some push cuts around the side. I really need to invest in the robust exterior curved tool rest. And this would make this much easier instead of stopping and, and moving it. A stopping and moving it is much better than overextending the ball gouge and getting hurt. This is the skew chisel. Here I'm deciding that I am going to use a tenon and I'm flattening a part of the bottom so I can do that. And the cuts at this point still aren't really clean cuts. They're better, but they're not perfect. Um, and I don't worry about that too much until I get the bolt reverse mounted and then I can clean it up a little bit. My intention at around this point is to make sure that the tenon is as strong as possible. And you can see it's kind of tattered there. I, I do go back and clean it up here with the skew chisel and make sure it has the proper uh, dovetail shape. And here I am putting the four jaw chuck on. Let me know if you do wood turning, if you have an easy wood um, chuck and if it is worth the money and if you like it. I've had this same chuck for ever since I've had the lathe, so around three years, maybe a little less than three years, but um, I've wanted to get that one but it's, it's kind of expensive. So if you have it, let me know if it's worth it. Right now, it's, I think it's $430 on Amazon anyway. So this is the hollowing process and I'm using a bowl gouge, the Carter and Son bowl gouge. Switching out for the interior curved tool rest. If you are thinking about starting wood turning or if you've just started wood turning and need a little guidance or a few tips, I do have an online course that you can watch at your leisure. It is linked in the video description. It's a teachable class, and the title of the class is Getting Started in Wood Turning. So check that out if it's something you might be interested in or learn something from. I did the class really to, because there were things that I didn't know when I started and I thought, well, this would have been so much easier and cheaper if someone had told me about it. These, these little things that, that kind of were very frustrating. So it's pretty well roughed out at this point. I, I'm not keeping it this thick, but I'm not going too, too much uh, thinner, at least on the bottom. I still have a bunch to take out on the sides. This was so different than turning maple, which is what I turn m mostly. Not different in a bad way, just different. Turning it was like, even though I took the moisture content, it, turning it seemed like, at least viewing it, like it was maybe still green in some places, but it wasn't because I, I tested it throughout and it just, I think it was the, um, the uh, sap in it. So I filled those areas with Starbond kind of the wormy holes and clean it with denatured alcohol 
sanding sealer applied, and then I'm using 600 grit to denib it. And then onto the axe abrasive paste. There is a discount code for axe in the video description. It is great stuff and at a very reasonable price and even more so with the discount. And the Axe Polishing Paste, the part I get most excited about. You'll see why in a minute or in a few seconds. Just, it's, it's that easy to use. Here is the branding iron. Hey, do you like saving money? I do. And if you do, be sure to support the amazing companies that support makers like me. They include Total Boat, Starbond CA Glue, Ariat Workwear, Glowforge, and many others. Links are in the video description. Please show them some love. So do you want to see the finished piece? Hold on, let me grab it. So as you know, this was the spruce burl, and here it is. There were some uh, holes or wormy areas that I filled with black Starbond CA glue. It was interesting when I put, you might have noticed it, but when I put my branding iron on it, it I think because of the sappiness in the wood, it didn't really um, take it very well. So I had to try it a few times before I got it as good as I could anyway. But I'm happy with this. Um, I don't often turn spruce. I think it, I've turned it one other time. And this one was even different than the last one I turned in, in many ways. But the the different colors, deep yellows, I, I'm happy with it. So anyway, there it is. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to know what you think of this one. Until next week, peace out. Hey, I have some new products on my website. I am now making uh, phone stands out of leftover resin. Here are a couple examples of that. So the phone sits here, sits on the table. I use one all the time. Here is another one comes off like this and I can ship it to you like that. A couple other examples. Anyway, if this is something you might be interested in, check it out at pfwoodturning.com. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.